God bless you. Our study here is coming to a conclusion. Our study of St. Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. And this is your divine appointment, the media ministry of Devon Jackson MD Ministries. Please do visit us on our website at www.djmd.org. DJ for Devon Jackson, MD for the title. Dot org. Many materials there. I would like to uh, draw our attention to this passage, to the final portion of it, where after the Lord Jesus has uh, healed the um, one gentleman of the ten that returned, and Jesus challenged him, where are the nine? Where are your brothers? Uh, we spoke about that on last time, about being our brother's keeper. Very important in this day of individualism, um, and many speak about the generation now that's called the, the millennials who can be uh, interested in relationship, yet um, at the same time, priority can be given to self. And um, because of almost their marriage to technologies, many of which don't encourage relationship, such as extensive amounts of time spent on social media, whether it be Facebook, whether it be Twitter, whether it be Snapchat, there's nothing inherently wrong with any of those media uh, outlets. And uh, we though must use every tool in its proper manner so that the tool itself doesn't take over. But the tool remains under proper control so that it's being used to build things and not accidentally destroying things. For those of us that are not particularly handy with a hammer, you and I have to admit there have been times we got a hammer, which is a tool, and though we thought we were building, when we got through swinging with the hammer and missing the nail and damaging the wall, we found out that we were tearing down with that tool rather than building up because we did not use the tool properly, often because we were not skillful in the use of it. So it is spiritually that all of these various media outlets, tools, have a place to be used that is profitable. But if not used in the proper way, it can cause loss. And so relationship, keeping track of one another, um, being our brother's keeper is very important. And here Jesus concludes after that questioning. Some may say it was rhetorical. Uh, but Jesus challenged the gentleman. After that, the passage ends with Jesus saying to him, Arise, because the man is um, bowed down in worship. It says, Arise, go your way, your faith has made you whole. And that phrase is used at various times with different miracles, which we will touch on at a later time. But the, Jesus celebrates with the man. Enjoy your blessing. Go your way. The work of God has occurred in your life. Be blessed. This wraps up this particular uh, miracle where we've come for full circle, where Jesus was en route to Jerusalem that we spoke about in our first segment of this series. And while he's on his way to Jerusalem, the voice of those crying out, Jesus, have mercy upon us caused him to turn and work this miracle. Jesus then, I must read this to you. Jesus here succeeds where the priest and the Levite in another passage in St. Luke chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. That passage is famously known as the story of the Good Samaritan. And in that story, there's a priest and a Levite that carry out certain behaviors I won't go into the details here, but please read that in St. Luke chapter 10, 25 to 37. But where those two religious workers failed, Jesus succeeds. Let me read this to you. He succeeds where the priest and the Levite failed in that story of the Good Samaritan. Jesus models for us how to maintain an ear to hear the cries of those around us and keen vision 
to see the needs right in front of us while continuing on the road to Jerusalem, continuing on the mission and the work to which we've been called. Ministry awaits us everywhere. There's ministry that we had pre-planned, activities that we've prepared in advance, but there's also ministry that we didn't plan, but the Lord knew all about it. Let us remember, we are our brother's keeper, and to be mindful of those that are about us and the opportunity to make Christ known. God bless you, and please join us for our next study uh, here on the Devon Jackson Ministry YouTube channel. There will be a series beginning where we will deal with the topic that is uh, very exciting, the topic being how the body of Christ relates to the ministry of Christ. And the specific subject of that series is your body the mission and ministry of Christ revealed. Join us. God bless you.